please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Today we're going to look at clutch free play. What that means, why you need it, and what is the correct amount. Right now we've got the clutch set ergonomically, so we're going to go ahead and loosen this up so we can bring it higher. That'll make it easier for Dave to see, and when we're finished, we'll go ahead and reset it ergonomically back to where it belongs. So the first thing we're going to look at is right in here, this gap. Obviously, the clutch lever hits the perch. So what we're looking for, especially when the bike is hot, because this is the best way to do it, we want a gap of one to two millimeters there. Now, this is as it's set. That's a little more than one to two millimeters. So how do we fix that? Well, we're going to leave that there where it belongs. This is your lock ring just like preload collars on a shock. So if we loosen that, that makes our adjuster here turn. So I'm gonna hold the cable to make it easier for me. And then we're gonna go that way. So I'm screwing the adjuster to me. And you can see how much free plays in the cable there. That would be maximum in seating it in here so we know where to go to. Okay, so let's stop, let the cable go back in. Now that is your free play. What does it look like here? Well, it's still quite big, so we're gonna go a little more. That's too tight, so we went too far. Let's put it back a little bit. And a little bit more. That'll work. So at this point, that's nice and snug. Now what we also have to look at is how much of our adjuster is sticking out. And that's quite a bit. And then how much adjuster in here do we have left? And if there's not a whole lot of adjuster there, there's no point having two thirds of the adjuster sticking out past the perch versus a tiny little bit screwed in up to here. So what we want to take a look at is at a certain point, we need to go make the adjustment on the other end of the cable because if this gets too loose and wobbles, then you'll break it when you shift and then you're done. And that just makes for a very long day and probably could leave you stranded. So that's a long way out. What we're looking for is the end of the adjuster and a hard contact point. So that hard contact point is here. We bring that forward and we only have a little bit of thread left in there. So it would make sense now to go take a look at the other end of the clutch cable and make an adjustment there. So this adjuster can go back in and we're not stressing a tiny amount left of what is essentially a hollow tube. So, very important, we, we need this in as much as possible. So, there, that's all the way, we'll pull it back a little bit. Now we can go down to the other end of the cable. So our clutch cable comes through to this mount, which goes to the case here. And we've got a nut on this side, and we have a nut on this side. This is the lock nut. We've got a lot of thread left here for adjustment. As that is tight, there will be a ton of free play here. See it? So what we need to do is get that free play removed. And to do that, we're going to move the adjuster that way. Task number one, loosen nut. There it is. Now the nut is loose, we can go ahead and move our adjuster this way. The question is how much do we need to go to make sure we've got some free play. So at that point you move the nut, now you push the adjuster that direction. Does the nut stop before the clevis? Yes. So we went too far. So we want to push it back in a little bit. That's good. 
there's still some free play and I'm hard stuck against it so that would stay here now with this nut we go ahead and roll it back just a loose hand fit there and that snug there is there any free play none and we know that's all the way in so let's give ourselves a little more free play push it through open that up push that back now let's try yes we got free play and you can hear it in the lever so at this point that setting is good we'll tighten this one that's tight we'll tighten the other one okay now we can go back to the top at this point we made the adjustment at the bottom now we need to double check that the adjustment we've got at up top is generous enough and that's definitely more than three millimeters so we can go ahead and screw that back a little bit there that's about right and then take our lock nut move that forward and go ahead and spin that so now the adjustment for the clutch we're set correctly here we're optimized on the bottom to make sure this is not overstressed and can break or bend and that gets us the correct adjustment on the lever up here make sure when you're done that the perch goes back to where you had it and for us it's the mark right opposite the plus there it is so that makes it nice and easy to do.